check out this secret iPad screenshot feature that you might be missing out on. I was teaching a lesson today and this came in clutch. I'm gonna show you how this works. So just to set the scene, I was going through an online quiz and I wanted to annotate on the screen. So what you can do here is what I tend to do for my screenshot is if I just drag it in from the bottom corner, it takes a screenshot. So from here, I can annotate on the first question. So, you know, I wanna talk about this first question. We can annotate here, which of the following um, represents direct variation. So I can talk to my students here while I'm, you know, sharing my screen on Zoom or Google Meet. You know, we can talk about this and I could say, hey, remember K is my constant of proportionality and it has to be constant, rate of change. Y is gonna be equal to KX, highlight the question. Now, if I wanna go on and I wanna talk about the other questions, remember I could scroll through this page. The, what to do is instead of, instead of going here and pressing done and saving this screenshot, just go ahead and press on full page. Can you see that? Press on full page. Hey, look at this, we get this um, you've got this toggle down here. We can scroll through the whole web page. Look, I can scroll through the whole document. If this was like a PDF, I could scroll through the, whole, the the complete PDF here. So I can continue to work on this document. I can scroll to the bottom. Okay, uh, identify a question where you know students have struggled. I'll look at this one here, and then I can zoom into this one, and then I can start working on this question here. You know, solve <laughs> blah 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 blah. I can solve this problem here. Let's say uh, I don't want these distractions, okay? I don't want any of these distractions and I wanna give my students, um, I, wanna, I wanna give them uh, an announcement or I wanna give them some work or something. What I can do is I can change the opacity of the screenshot by moving this toggle. So look at this, if I move this toggle, I can move it even more. Completely change the opacity of the screen and then I can write here y is equal to k over x and we're gonna be looking at the next example which is gonna be an inverse variation, okay? We have to look at an inverse. So we can change the opacity of the screen so that students are not distracted by the content on the screen. Here's another thing. Let's say you don't wanna take the full, um, you know, th this full screen, because there's a lot of information here. We don't wanna look at all of it. We could go ahead and crop certain parts of it as well. We could uh, crop certain parts of it and just use that part, okay? So we can use this part here. Now, uh, let me reset this and I'm gonna show you one more thing, okay, cancel that. I wanna show you one more thing. If I, look, I've annotated on this now, yeah? If I go back to the bottom, you can see that I've annotated here, yeah? Now remember, originally I annotated on question one. Now, if I go back to screen, it will show me my original annotations. You see, so it has the focus of my original annotation, my original screenshot, as well as, because this is, remember this is question one. If I go back to full screen, that annotation is not on question one. So you've got two screenshots at the same time. But in fact, if you do the opacity, then you could even you know, use it as a whiteboard uh, as, well, as well as having your screenshot and having your original focus as well. Go ahead and give it a try for yourself. As always, I'll catch you in the next one.